We're back today. First thing this morning, we're gonna get mostly all of the T-Posts installed. I'm out here with the, the crew. I'm about to open the gate so that they can go and graze while I work. They've pretty much eaten this area down. And so because of that, we wanna make sure that we get them some more grass to kind of munch on. So, so we're gonna go and uh, let them go do their thing out here. Make sure, let a wellness check, make sure everything's alive. Come on. Hopefully everything is good. Everybody's healthy and well. Oh, there's Millie. Good morning, Millie. Good morning, Millie. No, they're coming out. You're not coming in. No, Millie. They're coming out. Come on, bag up, bag up, bag up. There you go. Come on, girl. Come on. And there's Jessica. I don't know if you can see her. What's up, Mill? I'm gonna get out, and this is such a dumb. This is why sheep need a protective animal. He he can't figure it out. They're just not smart animals. Come on. Oh my God. See, now he's stuck inside. They're not smart animals. Not a smart animal. I gotta get behind him. <laughs> They're not smart. Literally just not smart animals. Look, he's gonna hurt himself. Go that way. Come on. Now turn. That's the reason why you have to have donkeys, have to have other animals around them. Just not, not high IQ animals from my experiences. Um, and it's okay. Still love them the same, but they are not what I would call very high IQ animals. Like she is a pretty smart animal. She knows how to move around, knows how to get out of a fence. She can follow the lead. She, not so much. Yesterday at Tractor Supply, she does it every time I start talking. I had to make a stop in Tractor Supply to purchase two major items. This, which is a clip bender, and I'll show you how this works. And this bad baby. This is this is a T post driver. It helps drive the T post into the ground. Um, we have a lot of T posts around here just because I don't know. My uncle, my dad have accumulated so many, um, which is a great thing because those things are kind of expensive now, but. This is what you call a T-post. It's a metal T-post. This end goes into the ground. This end is up top. And this is what we will attach the newly put together fence, I guess that you can say, just as a support kind of in between the wood post that we dug. There is a spot where when we pulled the tension, the fence came off the ground and so one of the sheep, been, one of the sheep he's been going through and offering himself going under the fence and, and walking over into the pasture and eating and then can't get back in. He 
thinks of ways to get out, but then doesn't understand how to get back in. And so that's kind of been an unfortunate fortunate thing because I'm having to come over every day because we have one sheep that's small enough to fit under a crack. Very similar to this crack right here. And so with the T-post, we will, well, we'll attach it and it'll drive down and it'll kind of take that, that little gap out of there. That's what we're gonna do today. Still have one little small section to run this ground as hard as rock, so hopefully I don't have to overwork myself getting it done. Okay, so now I have it's in the ground pretty sturdy. All right, I'm gonna explain how this tool from work, uh, from work, how this tool kind of works. We have to attach the fence to the T post. And so what you use is this clip Oh dang, I went the wrong way. Shoot, that was a bad video. Hold on. So we'll put it around. <clears throat> All right, so. Clip, put it around the T-post. All right, we'll try this again. So we're gonna attach the fence to this pole like this. You wanna make sure that the fence is all the way down before you make a clip onto the fence because once it's done, it's done. And you have to cut it loose. We get a little tool. And that's gonna wrap it around. Mm -hmm. This side. So if you notice it has a little hole right there. All you do is just gonna pull and it wraps it around. Still not as tight as I want it to be, but you get the picture. It won't come off. <laughs> not a master fence maker, but it's not as tight, but it's not gonna move. 